Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I've been awake for about an hour now and it has been a very dramatic time. First of all, I thought it was going to be disastrous. I was quite angry. Came downstairs to make my breakfast, went into the kitchen, went to get my can of beans out, I wanted beans on toast this morning. And my last can of beans have been eaten. My sister Amy has stolen them. She's always at this, it's a reoccurring issue. Ever she's here, the beans for lunch and stuff, they're vegan friendly, they're my beans, leave them alone. So I was pretty triggered at this point, pretty angry that she'd come and stolen my food. And then there was a knock at the door. Went and opened it, it was the postman. Munch pack. Yeah, disaster has been averted. I'm now gonna live unbox my munch pack for you guys and eat it as my breakfast. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great video and it's in my sister's face because my last munch pack she stole. Her and her friends drunkenly ate it all. Uh, so there's that kind of synchronicity involved to it. And I've also had another package the other day that I haven't unboxed it yet, and we're gonna do that one first. Now, I have opened them just to make sure because you never know what you're gonna get in the post. Some people know where I live. Um, I didn't want to be live opening, you know, poop boxes of Tic Tacs and stuff. However, it's not an issue. Right, this is from my YouTube network, Scale Lab UK. It is a little trophy. Uh, whether you can read that, there's my head poking around the corner. Basically, it says, Callum's Corner, congratulations on surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, big boy numbers, big boy numbers. Uh, holding it up like it's some kind of cup or something. Yeah, proud of that. Thank you very much, guys. So that is a little coffee. And it is something all of you are involved in because you've subscribed and made that possible. Right, let's get into the munch pack because I'm pretty hungry now. I've normally eaten at least one breakfast by now. Right, so munch pack, uh, it's not a sponsored video. They just send me free munch packs and I review them sometimes. Right, this is what you get. It's got a little card in there that says, Hola, it's, it's World Foods. This munch pack was made with lots of love by Jason. Um, thanks, Jason. Um, right, what have we got? Here we go. This is my initial. This is what I am greeted with. I love World Foods. I just love food full stop, really. Right, first thing I'm seeing is, I can't read backwards on my little screen, Rancheritos. Rancheritos. Doesn't that sound exotic? Uh, I'm guessing it's Mexican or Texan or something. Wow. Um, big, long, crispy things. Quite spicy by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got a very... <coughs> it's got a, um, a dry, dusty odour to it. Um, yeah, let's just try it. Hmm. Okay. Initially, I'm getting a lot of paprika. Um, now it's got into a very... A little bit spicy, but it's quite sour spice. Um, ooh, almost like lime pickle or something. Got my cup of morning coffee as well. Right, Rangeritos. Mm. I think I like them. Um, probably need to eat a few more to, to be sure, but I, I want to get you know stuck into this box because there's like eight different items in here, I think. Right, these look like Watsits, but they're called Smocky. Smocky. It's a funny little word, isn't it? Smocky. Um, don't know where they're from. Does it say? Doesn't tell me where in the world they're from. I'm thinking Scandinavian, though. Oh. Kind of peanutty odour from them. Uh, look a little bit like a what's it in their, their kind of corn husks. Um, however, they're much more heavily coated uh, than a what's it. Mmm. Oh, I like smoky. It's like a peanut butter what's it. Okay. Well, I definitely have a few more of them. They are nice. Right. What else am I saying? Oh, lovely. French crepes. Um, it's unfortunate it's kind of from France with my history of controversy with that nation at the moment. However, I do like a crepe. I do like a crepe. I will be enjoying that. Strawberry. Um, my absolute favourite crepe would be chocolate and banana, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, I'm not going to open that yet, though. I'm going to save that. Right. I don't think I can eat sweeties for breakfast. Well, at least not boiled sweeties. These are called Zuzo. Zuzelmus. Zuzelmus. Uh, but I will have a suck on those if I'm watching TV tonight. Uh, it appears to be orange and lemon flavour. Nice. Little sucky sweets. Oh, I'm liking the look of this. Right. Look at that. Blasberry. 
Blasberry. Sour Power Belts. That's nice. That's a nice description. Um, it's gelatin free for those of you who care about stuff like that. I don't think give a crap about gelatin to be honest with you. There's bigger issues in the world, isn't there? Let's be honest. However, for those of you who are vegan and whatever, you can eat one of these. I don't know whether you deserve to, but you can eat one. Right, let's try this blasberry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're really good. Wow. Blasberry, sour power belts. It's like a sour jammy dodger. Um, yeah, that's the best thing I've got so far. And another kind of sip of coffee just to cleanse the palate so I can really appreciate what I'm eating here. Right, Petit Waffle. Um, again, it's French, um, which, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? I know what a waffle tastes like that, so we'll save that. We're saving the crepe and the waffle because that could actually be my breakfast this morning. That's sustenance. Right, ooh. Now, that's naughty. I'm very interested in that. Can you see that? Can it focus? I don't think it can. I'll just read it to you. It's wasabi green peas. Uh, big fan. Big fan of wasabi green peas. Uh, peas are bloody lovely anyway, aren't they? And wasabi, you can't go wrong with. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Mm. Oh, that's heaven there. That is heaven there. Right. We've got this. Golaki. Golaki. It appears to be some kind of um, chocolate wafer bar. Uh, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a whirl. Let's test it. Ooh. Now, what I'm most impressed with upon opening that is the moisture that I'm seeing. It appears to be quite moist. Uh, sometimes wafer bars could be just too dry, but there appears to be really nice, generous layers of chocolate in there, uh, which is a pleasure. Absolutely. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Golaki. Golaki. I think it's from Poland. Um, that's tasty. Really tasty. Right. This next item is lighter than a feather. Apparently it's from London. Um, now, I've never seen one of these. Uh, so I don't know whether it's representative of London. It is a coconut flavour layer cake. Um, it's called London, actually. It doesn't look like it's from London. It appears to be from Kuala Lumpur. Right, let's open it and have a little look. A layer cake. I do like a good cake. What is that? This. Ooh. I'm pungently smelling. Like lady fingers from a trifle or something. Um, quite a dry, coconutty smell. Very, very fine sponge. Um, yeah, it's enjoyable. It's nice. Right, two things left in this munch pack. Um, what have we got? Can't even read that. Mary Nas. Mary Nas. Mary Nas. Marinaz, Mary Nas. I don't know. Um, ooh, I don't like the smell of that. It smells like sour milk. Um, lots of little balls, little white balls. Um, crunchy on the outside. So sweetie. Kind of like dried condensed milk. Uh, soft and powdery on the inside. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry, Mary Nares, whatever you're called. It's like a mixture of dried and soured and condensed milk. It's not for me. Not for me. Right. Hopefully, I've saved the best to last. Boston baked beans. So, from the United States of America, Boston. Uh, they are candy coated peanuts. Uh, big fan of peanuts. Um, if I'm going to buy confectionery, it will generally be peanut M&M's if I'm looking for something that's um, substantial, uh, nourishing and tasty. You can't go wrong with a peanut. Rich in nutrients. Right, let's try it. Oh. Mmm. Oh, they're lovely. They're gorgeous. Right, shut the front door. 
We have got a winner. We'll save the best to last. Boston baked beans. Mm. Candy coated peanuts. Do uh, you remember you used to get them when they were getting warm and stuff? They were lovely. Uh, at cinemas and stuff. Right, that is my munch pack for this month. Thank you very much, munch pack guys. Uh, I will leave a description, a link in the description so you can go over and have a little look at munch pack. You pay them some money and they send you different foods every month. It's bloody brilliant. I'm enjoying it. Although they send me one for free. Um, trappings of success, I guess. Right, there we go. Um, loads more videos coming up for you. I've got a few days free now. I am working on one from a commentary channel. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the KSI Joe Weller little fella, the fight that they had, uh, and a few other things as well. Um, and also, hopefully, tomorrow I'll have my first Dance Strong video up for you.